Welcome to our series on plant conservation stories of hope here at Cambridge University Botanic Garden. My name is Chantelle Helm and I'd like to take you on a journey to explore some of the plants in our collection that have interesting conservation success stories. This one is about the cycads in our collection. You can find the cycads growing in the Life Before Flowers house at the garden. This house is tucked away behind the main glasshouse range. Here is a selection of lovely cycads. Now cycads survived the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. They also were able to survive five ice ages, only now for some of them to be threatened with extinction in places like South Africa due to theft for the horticultural trade, unfortunately. They are stolen and sold in the black market, sometimes for millions of dollars. Approximately two thirds of the world's cycads are in danger of extinction, making them the most threatened group of plants globally. The Natal cycad is classified as near threatened on the red list, as there are still about 8,000 individuals left in the wild. However, there is a closely related species, which we don't have in our collection, called Encephalatus woodyi, and it is often called the loneliest plant in the world, as there is only one single male plant left, and it grows in a cage in the Kirstenbosch National Botanic Gardens in Cape Town. This plant has been propagated asexually and can now be found in a number of botanic gardens around the world, including Kew. However, it is effectively what we would call the living dead, as there is really no hope for it to reproduce. Unless a hybrid breeding program with Encephalatus natalensis, this one that we have in our collection, is eventually able to create a very close genetic version of a female Encephalatus woodii and reboot the species that way. Or, perhaps by some miracle, a long-forgotten female is found somewhere in someone's gardens. Other threatened cycad species in South Africa are, however, getting help by being microchipped in the same way as your pet can be microchipped. This allows for the individuals to be uniquely identified and they can then be traced with a permitting system. If you are caught with a stolen cycad in South Africa, one can get up to 10 years prison. All Encephalatus species are listed in Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, otherwise known as CITES, which means that the international trade in wild specimens of the species, or parts thereof, for commercial purposes is prohibited. However, trade in artificially propagated plants is permitted. Now, many botanic gardens around the world have good living collections of cycads, and hence no species of cycad is likely to ever go fully extinct.